my name is Omar. I'm 23 years old and I come from Whitehaven, Cumbria. So I was born and raised there and, and, until I was 18. Moved around a bit, uh, moved back there, and I moved to the northeast, specifically to Sunderland. So I left school at 16 years old, went straight to college to study being a sh chef. And that, that was my, where my interest was. So I, I passed at that level two in uh, Lakes College, Cumbria. Um, I worked as, as, a, as, a, as a chef, went to work in many different kitchens around Cumbria. So I, I moved from Whitehaven to Keswick. So I, so I worked in pubs and restaurants around, around there. Um, some rural, some very rural <laughs> restaurants uh, and hotels as well. Growing up was my belief system. My belief system, um, I kind of felt like there was a God out there, but, uh, but I really didn't, didn't know because in school we're uh, taught all, all, all these different paths and religions, you know, Christianity, Buddhism, Hinduism, you know. So at that time I wasn't really sure what to make of it. So I started looking in, into religion as a, as, a, as a whole, you know, what to believe in, what, what to really believe in. So I really didn't know what to do in in life, uh, as a career, as as a as a person in religion. So I was at a hard hard time, like really really hard time. And then um, so I sort of just asked God for 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 help, basically for for, for guidance. Yeah. There was one YouTube video that I saw because I was I was looking into different religions and then this one Muslim sent me a YouTube video about Islam and, and what Islam is about and I was really fascinated by it. I started reading the Quran soon after watching that video like looking more into Islam, you know, the core beliefs of Islam. Uh, I think it was soon after that, you know, I, I, was, I was just researching more and more and I, and I knew that, that I wanted to become Muslim. While I was in college, you know, it, it was, there was a masjid near, near my college. So after, after college, I would go and then ask, ask the Imam questions about Islam. You know? So the very next day, I took it to my shahada. How did I go about telling my family that I'm Muslim? And what was their reaction? Um, so, so, so I first told my uh, my mum. She visited here because I wanted to tell her in person. Because years back when I was living with her, I did say that said I wanted to become Muslim. My next steps on becoming a Muslim was to be more knowledgeable about Islam and how to practice my, my faith. I came across IDC by a connection with a, with a brother, Brother Rizwan, who goes to, goes to that mosque where I took um, Shahada. And the, and the more that I went there, like, um, the more contact I had, I had with, with him, he agreed that, that I needed um, somewhere to be more knowledgeable and learn more about it, you know. And uh, that's how I learned about the classes at IDC, yeah. So I had to travel to Newcastle for that, it wasn't, it wasn't easy. <laughs> what advice would I give? I would say just go and talk to a Muslim person and uh, some of the nicest people that you'll ever meet. I would say, um, do your research from the right sources as well. And I would say visit a masjid. What is my biggest lesson in life? I would say to always try your best to have faith and to persevere and, and, and learn from your mistakes.
Was I scared to become Muslim? Um, there were times where I was scared. You know, like um, when I was looking at the media more. Um, but but the more that I went went on, you know, researching the facts about Islam, and then the, the fear just just went away. Was it logical or emotional way to where I, where I became Muslim? I would say both. I'd say both. Um, it was logical to to read about it, and it really it really made made sense to me. Like, like the more that I read about it, you know, the more I, I thought, well, th th this is the truth, and that's that in turn made me emotional, you know. <laughs> Was there any verses that really spoke to me? I'd say with, with hardship there is ease. That's, that's the one that spoke to me the most, I think. I think, I think what uh, helped me was to um, like relate, relate um, Islam to what, I, what, to what I was doing in, in my daily, daily, daily life, you know? Um, because before I was I was lazy, um, I I did I did drink like not not too too much, yeah. But I like looking back and then looking at you see Islam now and and the Quran, you know it it all it all makes sense. You know, why I, why I shouldn't be doing those things? You know? So to so to look at your own life, you know, it helps. Is, is a wonderful thing to be a part of the